Hello, welcome to a short podcast about the forthcoming album Virtual Minds Backwards 4. So Virtual Minds continues practically everything I did on Backwards 3. And um, as you may know, I re-recorded the songs of an early period of conscience. And with Virtual Minds, it's the year 1994 and one track from 1995 I recorded in the same way as uh, on Backwards 3. So the goal was to record those tracks um, in the way I did back then with the original sounds, with the original arrangements, but only mix them better and um, maybe spice them up a little bit. And um, I re-recorded everything and um, some sounds I had to replace, but um, I guess uh, 80 to 90 percent are the original sounds. You may know also uh, the first single which was out in 2023. It was a look inside and there's a beautiful video um, made by AI and um, it's on the same channel as this podcast. So what else can you expect? The second single is out with this podcast. It's called I Could Fly and it's the only track from 1995 original recorded on the album Scope. On this track I had to replace a lot uh, of, of uh, drum tracks because uh, I don't have this equipment anymore but uh, most of the tracks um, are still original. There are also a couple of new tracks which are built from unfinished demos and um, yeah, leftovers, things I found on uh, the Atari discs from uh, that time and uh, yeah, I made full songs out of them. One example is the track Rivers, it's the B-side from A Look Inside. Uh, this track was already fully arranged, uh, I didn't have any lyrics for it. Um, I didn't find uh, some sounds either and so I had to replace them. But uh, the track is a bit weird anyway, maybe the reason I never really recorded it. Um, but it's a nice piece of music and uh, now in the right place. There are also a couple of other tracks um, I did in that way which are on the album or which are B-side tracks on the various singles. Some are already out, some still to come this year. By the way, the music in the background is uh, from a friend of mine, from Olaf Jürs and his various projects, which are engineers of the future, the lonesome rider, uh, or the source of time. All his material is available on Bandcamp. So 
So you may ask, what is planned in the future? Will there be a backwards five? And um, as for now, I can say I didn't plan that. So maybe the backwards series uh, ends with this album. Um, but there's still leftovers. Uh, I, I will look into that and um, if there's something interesting, I will do some songs out of this. So if you're not familiar with this series of Backwards, there are already uh, two EPs, Backwards 1 and uh, 2. Um, the first one covering very old tracks from Conscience from the first and uh, the second year. And the second EP uh, also uh, contains some tracks I uh, changed a little bit more than the originals and only on these two albums, Backwards 3 and 4, I had the approach to preserve as much uh, from the songs, from the original songs as uh, possible. So if you hear the singles and they sound a bit uh, different, that's um, on purpose. The um, album versions maybe of the track A Look Inside are the original arrangements from 1994. And I also want to say thank you to the many fans, listeners who are watching the videos, who are streaming my music on uh, Spotify, iTunes or whatever service you choose. I can see the, the uh, amount of people listening to the music is growing and um, that also keeps me going doing the stuff that I do. And um, yeah, just one hint, I've got also a side project which is called Science OCM which deals uh, mostly with more ambient tracks or let's say um, Tangent Dream-like uh, music from the 80s or the 90s. There are lots of albums out there if you're interested in instrumental electronic music, just give it a shot. So thanks again, that's all for now and uh, hope to hear from you soon, bye.